Hello, I'm Delia Dashwood from A Few Grey Hairs. Liz and myself are a mother and daughter team. And today I'm showcasing these two items that we've just finished making for a client of ours who was wearing this hair in tape extensions. And she decided to give her hair a break and asked us to convert that tape extension hair into these two. This one is what we call a switch. It used to be extremely popular in the 60s um, and of course, as you know, I come from a family business of wig makers. So I remember these very much when I was a little girl. And so that really just gets wrapped around and wound into your existing hair to be able to achieve the volume that you would like to fill out your bun. They've become popular again because the girls are wearing either a man bun or the two buns on either side or the big bun at the back of the head. So that's the one item. And then the other item is a wraparound ponytail. So this here, you take the hair into a pony and that gets combed in and with this Velcro, we wrap it around and you're able to very easily um, thicken out your ponytail just like that. And so that's also a lovely option. So if you have any hair at home, whether it be from your own head of hair that you've kept from when you were younger, or otherwise, if you have some tape extensions like this client, you're very welcome to contact Liz and myself and discuss the options that are available and what would suit you. Today, I'm going to be fitting a wraparound ponytail. And um, my model has just she as you can see i mean she's got lovely hair but when it's in a pony it's just too short so this is the whole point of being able to use a clip-in pony something like this normal good old-fashioned elastic band is best for this and it's really to be able to anchor and hold the hair as tight as possible because if there's any movement at all you'll find that the ponytail will will slip because of the weight of it. So at the end of the evening when you've been wearing your pony, you can just pick up one little strand and cut it with an elastic, with a pair of scissors. So you don't have to untwist it. And then what we'll do is always make sure that the pony is brushed and freshly washed. So if you guys have got hair lying around at home in the way of previous extensions that you've had taken out or if you've got a ponytail that you had or family had from when you were younger you can actually bring it through to us Liz and myself we're a mother and daughter team at a few gray hairs and we can take that hair and convert it into something like this so now what we're going to do is we're going to try and give the ponytail some rise and why we want to do that is the weight of this pony will just pull it down if it doesn't have something. And an easy jaws, available usually in our uh, dressing drawers, can be and work wonders. So you clip it in there, which is going to just give this pony the height and the rise that we're looking for. Now we're going to comb in the little uh, four prong. And then sometimes using hairspray isn't a bad idea just to stick down all the little sticky out bits. And then using a normal bobby pin, we are going to anchor that down. And as easy as that, we've been able to transform a short little pony into something quite gorgeous. Right, and there you have it. One, two, three, a lovely long pony with some bounce that will stay in the whole night long and uh, we'll be able to go for a good dance and still have it in at the end of the evening. 
So thank you for watching and we hope that you subscribe and follow us on Facebook and Instagram.